Today we're living on one dollar in the world's cheapest country for 24 hours. Where almost everything is 100% free. 24 hours on the clock with one dollar to my name and I couldn't be happier. As I hear you can get things like full on delicious homemade meals for literal cents. The world's cheapest spa services like haircuts and massages. And to see just how much one dollar can get you here. I have seven objectives that would normally cost way more than one dollar. Also thanks to Amaze for sponsoring this video. Just six rupees. Six rupees. Two cents for breakfast oh my god all right so what is this here what is this this is aloo and kachori it's a half a century old yeah They've been here for 50 years sir yeah 50 plus wow and looking at this stand every single thing is homemade here making an absolutely stunning breakfast of perfectly fried kachori and an aloo that you can see so many spices and with a very intimidating red sauce Absolutely magnificent. <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> Only 15 rupees. 15 rupees? No, no, 12, sorry. 12. 12, 12 rupees. <laughs> Damn. Sorry? No, they are not taking any rupees. Is what? You Thank you so much. That's so nice. That's amazing. You're, you're so nice. Thank you. Wow. What an intro to to Pakistan here. Now, breakfast was absolutely delicious. However, what shocked me more was the street vendor not accepting my money, which at the time I didn't really understand. However, it became especially clear when it continued into lunch. Wow, I've never been on a more narrow walking way before. This is known as samosa. Whoa, was that a fried chicken yeah. stick there too? It's a chicken and a uh, vegetable bowl. Yeah. It's giving you for try. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Every food place we go to, they don't take money. <laughs> now, two minutes later, this guy came up to us. You wanna uh, check their biryani? And at first I thought he wanted us to go and eat at his restaurant, like one of those vendors that you normally see screaming outside a restaurant, but he had different plans. There's so many seasonings, so many spices. And then this is an egg over here, or no, potato. I mean, it's like perfectly just like mashed together there. Like every mixing together is so perfectly. Biryani is love. <laughs> it's very delicious. Yeah. They didn't take our money. Honestly, my heart feels so warm. This is insane. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Nobody yeah. is taking money from Nobody's you. taking because money. Because you are a guest for it. You see, in Pakistan, the hospitality from friends and complete strangers to tourists and guests is so amazing that they will typically not let you pay and literally always want to treat you to something extra because they believe in welcoming everyone to their country as if they were your best friend. So after being treated for literally two straight hours to food and drinks, I had to seek out something so crazy that it couldn't be free. Snakes inside his bag. No way. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Chinook, chinook, chinook. Oh my gosh, what? This guy just came out of nowhere. I never, I didn't down. think, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I think they might be standing a bit too close. <laughs> so welcome to the beach in Pakistan. There's much more things to do than just swimming. With having an insane amount of camels, horses, dune buggies, and even a freaking snake charmer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's more camels here than there are people. <laughs> I'll take a ride, yeah. All right, so we're getting on a camel, okay. Oh, okay, oh. Yo, this thing is massive. And now it's time to go try a street service that Vikas recommended me, but you've never, I mean, you've never used before. It's coconut, coconut. Coconut. ball. Okay, so. You're a barber and you got jokes. Okay, is it is it your stand? Yeah, yeah my, my. Ah. His home is inside. Yeah, property. Sorry? His home is inside oh, this. Oh, very good. He will charge us 30 rupees. 30 rupees. 30 rupees. 30 rupees. How long has he been doing the haircut? 1941. 1941? His father, grandfather used to do oh, it. Oh, wow. Very old location, same place, same seats. Everything was same. I'm here. excited for your beautiful haircuts then. Okay, now as we wait to get the world's cheapest haircut. I have an absolutely massive announcement. Like a literal announcement of dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a little bit out of left field, but I'm proud to announce that you have a chance to win $100,000 in cash right now. You see, with the help of Amaze, you have the chance to literally fund your dreams to, I don't know, travel for a straight year around the world, no questions asked, or maybe bowling out and taking first class a dozen times. Or you could live in the world's cheapest country, live on a dollar each day, and invest it all just saying. <laughs>
Anyway, for your chance to win $100,000 in cash, go to omaze.com backslash Bobby and enter now. And the best part is every donation supports the work of Meal on Wheels, who's just doing an absolutely amazing job for those in need. So hurry up, the link's in the description, or you can type omaze.com backslash Bobby and enter now. Go there, donate, and good luck. Okay, now let's get the world's cheapest haircut. Last one. New blood. How long has he been cutting hair for in his life? 18 years, okay. So experience, experience, experience. All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared. Yes. Wait, so they're using the scissors on the beard? Yeah. Oh. That is a close cut, man. <laughs> How's he doing? Okay. Now what is he doing? He's getting the razor out here? Fresh blade. Ah, fresh blade. Okay, okay, very good. Where is he putting the blade? Oh, he's doing it on the back of the hair here. Oh, I see. Uh, I have never had a blade like that before around my ears. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. That's precision right there. He's like an artist with that blade. How's it looking, man? Uh, Imagine he just cuts everything off on the top. <laughs> oh wow! All right. Look at that. Shower. What? Shower. Yes. Shower. Oh, what is this? Oh, massage. Massage. Yeah, compulsory massage. Oh Wow. Oh, is he cracking my eyebrows or something there? Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yeah. Best best haircut I ever had. Yeah. Honestly? I think he did a pretty good job, right? Like what? Now in most countries, soda definitely costs more than one dollar. But Pakistan has not only the world's cheapest soda, but definitely the most unique. Woo! <laughs> what is it exactly? A drink called Limka. Limka. Wow, okay. Thank you. That is the, that's a new definition of a soda right there. Oh my god. Okay, so we have a base of a 7 up here with a mixture of spices and flavors. So blueberry flavor, spices, and lemon. And it's all mixed together with that 7 up. It looks absolutely delicious. And it's a blue drink. Ah. Ah. He loves doing that. Oh. <laughs> He's just hitting the people in the road. <laughs> this is literally the most refreshing thing you can have on a hot day like this, yeah. though, man. And how much? How much is it exactly? Not taking money. money. Not taking You're not money taking money us. for. Oh man! Thank you so much. Oh. This is Pakistan. Now, a traditional massage will cost you fifty to ninety dollars at a minimum. However, in Pakistan, they have a street massage that's not only the cheapest in the world, but also has to be one of the craziest experiences I've ever had. You can get a street massage. Yeah, a street massage with tea. There he is. There's the street massager. It's just kind of like you're at a tea place. And then something else on the menu is to get a massage. You want some hard massage or some soft massage? No, no, uh... Oh boy. What is it gonna do? He keeps putting my arms in different places. I don't know what he's gonna do. What is he putting on my head? Oil. Oil? He just stuck his fingers straight in my ears. He's going for the foot now too. This is a complete massage. I love that it's right on the street too. Like behind us is like just motorcycles and everything like this. Imagine all around us, there's a huge crowd of people. It's amazing. Everybody's just drinking tea and I'm here getting a massage. I literally just can't feel anything in my body right now. Well, for just... dinner, we had a bit of a problem. You see, every restaurant we would go to, the owner would not accept our money and literally insist on treating us to more food. However, after negotiating with an owner, he guaranteed us he would allow us to pay. Okay, so dinner time, and we've come to this food street that's absolutely crazy, man. <laughs> There's a special dish. <laughs> 
Oh, this is something that I've never seen before, like how it's made and stuff. Do you know what, what the ingredients are in there? Many types of dal, uh -huh. and, see, and also there is uh, meat in it. Oh, there's meat in it? Yeah, there's meat in it. And, and actually, you use toppings as well. Yeah, right? fried onions, there's ginger, ginger, and then a spice, and lemon, and this is masala. Oh, wow, there's two. Oh, yeah. we get two rotis. Oh, yeah. wonderful. This is a big it's meal. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. It's known as kheer. Cool. Yeah, what do you do have it? Yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here because we only have 50 rupee left, right? <laughs> and then they give us a free dessert. This, this is this truly is what, this is Pakistan. This is truly what Pakistan is. This is wild. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he got loose, man. <laughs> Is it normal? <laughs> Get in the back. What are we? What are we doing here? So we're going to the bride's house right now.